good morning students uh, in the last class we were discussing about the long run costs and uh, today we go through with uh, the continuation of that long run cost that is long run cost curves so if you want to go for this long run cost curves we have to understand what is the meaning of long run cost curves and the movement of these long run cost curves okay so let us come to this long run cost curves long run cost curves so what actually the meaning of long run cost curves so we already understood the meaning of long run cost and uh, we have to understand the long run cost curves okay only the difference in the long run cost and the long run cost curves are the curves so what do you mean by long run cost long run cost are the sum total of all the expenses which are incurred in the production process in the long run or over and above five years right so that is what long run cost then curves so usually curves means what this is the graphical representation so for that is then long run cost curves long run cost curves are the graphical graphical representation graphical representation of of long run cost in the production in the production which means here yeah, these are the graphical representation we are going to present these long run cost in the diagrams and that is what we are going to call long run cost curves so usually in the long run cost curves we are going to highlight two important uh, uh, long run cost curves they are the one in this is l r m c l r m c what is l r m c long run long run marginal long run marginal cost curve the one we are studying here the long run marginal cost curve the second one here second one l r a c the second one we are going to study l r a c long run average cost curve long run Average cost curve. So one more long run cost statement here. That is the total cost curve or total average. Uh, that is the total variable cost curve. But usually that is not going to take into consideration in case of the curves. Why we are not going to consider those uh, that uh, total variable cost or total cost curve here is. because these two lrmc and lrac have become the base diagrams or base curves for the further chapters the next chapter whatever we are going to study for there we need of these two curves very importantly because of that reason we will study these very accurately okay so lrmc lrac the meaning of long run marginal cost curve we have already discussed in the last class and the long run average variable cost also we have studied in the last class okay so what we actually to do is we have to understand how these curves move and what are the reasons for the movement of these curves and let us understand with the help of diagram and that is how we go through it so here i am going to draw the diagram o y axis and this is going to be o x axis okay well so i draw one right line here Price line, and now I go through with uh, here. I can just draw one curve, which is long run average cost curve. Long run average cost curve, and I start with one curve from the below, 
this is long run average sorry long run marginal cost curve and this is going to be long run average cost curve and this is going to be long run marginal cost curve well this is the minimum point now what i do
so this reflects as same as this what it is there so this is the uh, because of production if i divide into two parts the upper part which relates to production the lower part which relates to cost well so for that reason as and when there is an increasing returns that makes the cost curves to diminish and as there is a flatter these are going to be flatter both the same because here with the production the production units are going to be flatter then cost are going to be flatter and when the this is our production unit decreases diminishing returns go down as the cost is going to increase so for that reason here as you have already seen the law of returns scale the shape of these production curves are going to be inverted u shape inverted u shape which means opposite to u shape whereas in case of cost in the long run period are going to be broad u shape so initially these two are going to decrease because of increasing returns later these are going to flatter due to that is what the constant return to scale constant return to scale and later after the uh, everything this is these two occurs going to increase that they move upward and that is because of what reason drs diminishing returns to scale you can just see due to the diminishing return to scale the production rate starts diminishes which means decreasing then the costs are going to increase as the efficiency decreases the cost increases here the production and the cost are somewhat uh, inversely related why because here as the production increases that is the what we call efficiency of the laborer or the factors of production whatever we use due to the effective utilization of the resources that makes the production to increase so that the cost decreases when there is a flatter and the costs are also flat which means same so there is no much uh, in, uh, that is what a difference that we are going to find in case of production and the cost and here the very important when there is a diminishing returns to scale so diminishing returns to scale which means the efficiency of the labors or efficiency of other factors are going to reduce as the efficiency reduces the cost increases and the same time production also decreases so this is why it is the mirror image of the law of returns to scale because of this reason these curves initially move downside later they become flatter and then they start moving upward well so these are the reasons here now the question arises why actually uh, this law of diminishing the law of sorry uh, that is what long run marginal cost curve cuts lrac at its point so this is also again because of these three reasons irs CRS and DRS increasing return to scale constant return to scale and diminishing return to scale these three makes this long run marginal cost curve this is very important LRMC cuts LRAC at its minimum point at its minimum from below from below just see here lrc curve which cuts the lrac curve this is the minimum point of lrac means long run average cost so lrc cuts lrac at its minimum from below from below means here it is cutting the lrac at its minimum point from its below point friends uh, so many questions have been asked on this lrc and lrac that how it is the lrc curve cuts dash lr a that is how they go they are going to give you lrs is the option lr mc again and lr abc they may give lr tc like that they may ask you so lr mc curve cuts lrac curve at its minimum point and that is from below it's what it is cutting or it is somewhat intersecting the lr ac curve from the below and Okay, so this is how we are going to say these uh, uh, this LRMC curve cuts LRAC at its minimum point. Well, so what more what we are going to understand into this is usually uh, this point what we are going to say this point is very important in the long run. If the below this point, the, usually the producers are not going to produce why because below this point usually they incur loss and above that point they can go through with the 
or earning of more income and uh, they can yield more of income here. Right? So this is how uh, we are going to see these shades of LRMC and LRC curve are going to be broad U shape in the nature. Well, so remaining other types of questions and all, let us discuss in the next class. Thank you so much.